Happy Sunday, welcome back to a brand new I Rate Your Teams video. For cheap, fast and reliable FIFA 20 Ultimate Team coins, check out u7buy.com and use code HABER to get yourself 5% off all of your orders. Before we get into this video, I have a big announcement to make. I have, with the help of uh, Dan, created an I Rate Your Teams Discord now. Mainly what we're doing in this is we've got an announcement section which is going to be where I can post when I'm recording these episodes. So if you want to know when I'm recording, join the Discord. You'll have uh, the YouTube videos and the Twitch streams uh, portions where you get notified every time I upload or go live on Twitch. Uh, amongst other things, you can actually submit your teams in I Rate Your Teams. Uh, and I'll be showing a few squads from the Discord uh, in every episode each week. Uh, so make sure you go down in the description, join the Discord. You can read all the rules and stuff of the Discord and uh, get involved, really. Without further ado, let's jump straight into it. We're going to start off with Rob's team. He's got 150,000 coins. The tradables are Marco, Dembele, and Semedo. Happy to sell people. Second is in-game. Also, do you think Usmane's price will go up if they get through? Uh, keep it the good work, mate. Uh, yeah, definitely. 100%. I think that Usmane Dembele's price, or Usman Dembele's price, uh, will 100% go up um if they get through because he, his rating will go up you know he's a road to the final card if i'm not mistaken that's if i'm not mistaken he might be a man of the match but i'm almost 100 percent sure he's a road to the final therefore he's dynamic and will upgrade uh but this is a really nice team so you're rocking on 150,000 coins with this team the only weak link in my opinion in this team is marco royce now don't get me wrong he's not a bad card i just think that you can get better with marco royce uh i don't actually know the value of marco royce and by the way someone was asking me um what website I use over here, uh, and it's it's called Footbin. Just realized I was on the wrong screen as well. So it, it's called Footbin. Uh, it's really easy to use. Let's check out Marco Royce's price real quick and see exactly how many coins he's going to have. So he is about 28,000 coins. So you've got about 180-ish thousand coins to work with. What I'm thinking is, hmm, there's a, there's a couple of different options you can go with. Uh, I'm not entirely sure how much Future Stars Danny Olmo is. Uh, I know he's pretty decent. He is about 170k. Uh, there you go. He gets the Leapshig link with Werner uh, and would be a good improvement, if you ask me. Good dribbling, good pace, good shooting. Uh, four star, four star. Uh, great stamina in game as well. It looks like a really, really solid, well rounded card. So I think that, um, you know, get Danny Elmo, maybe get yourself like a. Would maybe Hawk on him wouldn't be a bad shout. Uh, you know, he'd go to an 88 rated cam. A sniper also would make him a 91 rated cam. Um, regardless, you know, I think he'll be a good improvement to Marco Royce. The rest of the team, I think, is really nice. Uh, you know, you've got uh, upgraded Diego Carlos over here. You're going to have eventually upgraded Usman Dembele. Um, you know, you've got really nice midfield here as well. Uh, I like it. I like it a lot. Anyway, the next one is coming from David, who says, uh, the untradables are Balak, Zanetti, Van der Sar, and SBC cards. I've got 700,000 coins to improve. I play the same in-game, and I also bought mid Maldini to replace Blanc. This is literally minutes outdated. What do you think? Give it the great work. Let's check it out. So, you've just replaced Blanc with mid Maldini, and you have uh, 700k. Oof, 700,000 coins. I don't think Balak is good enough anymore. Um... You know, I'll be totally honest with you. That card was all right. The start of the game was pretty decent, but I think that you can do better with 700k. Uh, you know, it depends. I'm, I'm guessing you're playing more as a defensive-minded uh, player, and I would say a version of Petit would be decent. I don't know if you can get prime Petit, but I think I'm pretty sure you can get a mid Petit. Uh, and I think with someone like mid Petit, you've got a very similar sort of player. You know, similar in build. He's six foot one. Um, he is left-footed, not right-footed. He doesn't have the four-star skills, but defensive-minded. He's very good. Um, he's got a good shot on him as well, surprisingly. And I think that he'll do a really good job as a CDM, personally. I think the rest of the team's solid, though. I like this front three as well. And I like that link with Mbappe and Ben. You know, I think that's definitely saucy. Um, and that Firmino as well. Five-star skills now. Very, very nice. Next one coming from Dab Dab, who says, Hi, Haber. I've got 300,000 coins to spend. Bruno, Kubo, De Gea, Iniesta, and PK are untradeable. I play a 4-2-3-1 in-game, and the picture is my team, except that I got Mendy uh, normally. But I'm thinking of buying Future Stars Emerson. Okay. So you're playing Mendy off chem. Uh, well, one thing that just came out recently is this brand new Ramos card. Now, this is not me saying get Ramos straight away because this is quite an expensive SPC. It's about 500k. But you can work towards this uh, and replace your Ramos with maybe someone like Rafael Varane. Uh, I know that will send Iniesta off chem, but I think that you'd probably better off with someone like Rafael Varane maybe um, and get into Stegen in goal as well. Uh, but this is a card you could work towards. I think it'd be a fantastic right back as well. Um, and he could go there instead of Emerson. But for now, I think Emerson would be 
a good purchase. I like this this link on the left side, obviously being a Man United fan, I love that, uh, with you, the likes of Rashford and Bruno Fernandes. Looking at this team, though, uh, let me just double-check how many coins you got. You've got 300,000 coins to spend. Looking at this team, the only thing that I would say could be a possible weak link uh, as you're playing a 4-2-3-1 in game is maybe Iniesta at a CDM. Uh, now, thinking about who you could go with, Hmm, it's a difficult one. Obviously, you need either Spanish or La Liga. Um, let's have a quick look over on Footbin, what we're saying for Spaniards or La Liga. I mean, I'm pretty sure, is it Saul has a headliner card? That's not too bad. Uh, he could be a pretty decent card to go there, if I'm not mistaken. Um, is it Saul that I'm thinking of? It is Saul. Let me have a look at his get his stats for... Uh, yeah, I mean, as a CDM, this card could, could be pretty decent. I think he's probably a bit better than Iniesta in terms of, you know, defensive-mindedness, um, in terms of of being a bit more of a powerhouse, a little bit stronger in game. Uh, Three-star uh, three star skills, four-star weak foot, left-footed. Uh, but he's got decent stats in game. You know, he's got 89 stamina. He's pretty strong with 78 strength and can be up with a chem style. Um, what I would say as well is probably add an anchor onto him. Makes him an 87-rated CDM. Gives him some really nice stats in game and I think he could be definitely uh, a very very good prospect as a CDM over Iniesta now I know that obviously throws off the plans a little bit because Iniesta is a, a nice card to get from objectives but uh yeah no I think um I think that definitely could be a good improvement for you but I think the rest of the team's solid though and yeah I'd get Emerson for now and just work maybe towards Ramos once you do Ramos then obviously replace your normal Ramos with somebody else um, but the rest of the team is solid I like it a lot uh, the next one coming from Matthias who says I have 150,000 coins at the minute the tradable of Ran, Ariola, Mares, and Greenwood Let's check it out oh okay uh, for Ran. Ramos, Ariola, and Greenwood. Okay, so I like I like this left side. Uh, I like the right side as well, actually. Uh, I like the use of, of Footmas Malqui. In terms of this team, uh, looking at it, I don't see a massive improvement you can make straight away. I think that I would wait until the next batch of Icon Swaps comes out. I'm pretty sure it's at the end of this next season, which isn't that far away now. Uh, probably a couple of weeks, maybe three weeks away. Uh, so I would say probably just wait until um, the next batch of Icon Swaps uh, and look towards getting better icons in the squad. I think that's something a lot of us can can look forward to is getting better uh, better icons in the squad. I see you're upgraded uh, Kent on the bench. I'm so excited that he got an upgrade. Um, but yeah, no, I'd, I'd say just hold on to it, to be honest. Um, there's not a massive improvement you can make in this squad at the minute. It's a solid squad. The next team is from Mohammed, who says, Hey man, this is my team. I've got 1 million coins and I don't know who and what to upgrade. Everyone's at Treadable except for Kante. Love the vids, give the good work. Thank you very much, bro. Damn, okay. It's a nice team. Uh, so you got a mill. What I would say straight away, I'd actually replace Neuer with this day. That's just personal preference on my end. Um, what else would I do with this team? I would say possibly going with a better version of Kante. Um, it wouldn't be the worst shout in the world getting... Uh, does he have an... Hmm, I'm pretty sure... It, actually, no, his next up from there is actually a centre-back card now that I think about it. So, yeah, ignore that. Keep that Kante. I completely forgot it's a centre-back card. It literally just came out as well. Um, with a million coins. I guess you could try and upgrade Dan James. Uh, there's probably a few good options you can go with there. Um, and by the way, for everyone wondering, these are definitely loans on the bench. The amount of people could be like, wow, he's got loan... He's, sorry, he's got team of the year Ronaldo and, and, and moments on re and stuff. No, definitely, uh, definitely loans on the bench. I, I like this squad, to be honest. Uh, I think now you're just sort of working on getting better version of players in different positions. Maybe going for the informed Sonic striker might not be a bad shout. Um, you know, maybe saving up coins and going for a version of Salah at right wing. Wouldn't also oh, right mid wouldn't be a bad shout either. Uh, but the rest of the squad's really nice. I actually really like the Alwa Kante link up as well. Um, you know, you maybe could go with Kovacic for the uh, season objectives, and that might be a, a slight upgrade on, on Alwa. But no, the rest of the team's nice. I like, I like you've got good plays in good positions. Um, you're now at the point where I would just say uh, you're going for the top, top players now in their positions, especially with like a million coins. Uh, you just got to choose which position you think is the weakest point and build on that but the rest of the team's nice uh next one uh, is coming from uh con leth mcfall who says i don't know who to buy i know it's very attacking but it's the only way i can enjoy fifa totally understand that mate totally understand love you vids thank you very much bro i appreciate that all right let's check it out so i would say hmm what wouldn't be a bad shout uh, no actually yeah i kind of i kind of see your dilemma here uh, i'm just thinking about chemistry more than anything um, I would personally get, uh, I'd personally get Varane over Kondogbia. I don't think Kondogbia is bad, but I think Varane's probably a bit better. I know it's not really fit in the exact attacking mental, uh, play style and mentality that you want, but 
I think it's it, you're going to benefit from it. I would also say possibly try to get yourself um, a Seydorf. I don't know if you've got enough time to get enough uh, Icon Swap tokens to get yourself Baby Seydorf, uh, but I think getting Baby Seydorf as a center mid and then swapping uh, Drug Brew and Baby Seydorf to get Marlin on full chem might be a good shout. Uh, he's also quite attacking minded, good box to box and would be a decent CDM. Uh, and then I'd say maybe just save up towards get yourself eventually, get yourself like a Neymar over here at left wing. Um, I can't remember if there's any of the good left wings in La Liga, but I think that obviously, you know, Neymar is definitely the end goal there. He's about 600k, so I would say, or 700k, might be even more than that at this point, but I would say save up towards getting yourself a Neymar over here at left mid. The rest seems solid though, and I totally understand it. Uh, a lot of people have said the same thing to me. They can't do drop back one depth. They hate you know, playing against people that are just 10 men in the box. It's so boring. And I totally agree with you. I totally agree with you. I find it really boring to play this FIFA sometimes. Uh, so, you know, teams like this actually make me kind of happy because I see people are actually, you know, mixing and matching things up to actually have a bit of fun on FIFA and I respect it. And by the way, I just want to quickly say this as well. Uh, I'm not trying to out you, Matt, or anything like that, but you're sending squads one minute apart. There is absolutely no way this is benefiting anybody. Um... You know, if you send a squad within one minute, it's not like one minute is going to change whether you're in the uh, episode or you're out of the episode. If you guys are going to spam squads, I'd appreciate it if you just space them out by at least like, you know, six, seven hours or something. Uh, because this this here, sometimes it can mean that other people don't make it in and that, that would be unfortunate. Um, so I'd really appreciate it as well. Uh, anyway, we're going on to Azan squad now. Uh, the whole bench and the team is untradeable. Obviously, the Ronaldo is alone. Uh, some people don't get it. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, thinking of getting a Kanji and the other SBC. I want to get rid of Mares since I don't like him and I like Politano, but I could change things up. 1.4 mil for improvements. Damn. Okay. Hmm. I like this squad. What I would say with 1.4 mil, I would get yourself mid Blanc. Middle Blanc as a centre back is incredible in my opinion. Blanc this year, I really like him. Or Desai. Desai is also Desai is also very very good. Uh, he could be a great centre back as well. Um, so either of those, maybe Baby Desai or Mid Blanc, whichever one you prefer. Uh, the rest of the squad though, I wouldn't change a whole lot with it to be honest. I think you've got a really good setup here. I like it a lot. Maybe just going for. Um, I don't even know really who you could go with at this, at this center mid spot. Maybe just saving up for an icon CDM uh, to eventually replace Inform Fabinho. But apart from that, the rest of the squad is is gnarly, mate. It's a nice squad. I like it a lot. Next coming from Genie Meanie Mane Mo. <laughs> I like that name. Hey, it's Haver. Uh, love the vids. All in tradable. I'm thinking of uh, swapping Pep with Bartra at center mid. Uh, got 200,000 coins. Can't do any icon swaps as I've got Nedved from a mid pack and then packed Neymar two days later. Fair enough. Uh, you know, I mean, Nedved's actually sick as well. That's really, really good. Uh, so, you know, I guess it's kind of lucky, but also a little bit unfortunate that you got Neymar straight after. Uh, one thing I would say is I wouldn't go for Bartra. I wouldn't waste your time, to be honest. I don't think he'll be very good at all. Uh, he's going to be super clunky, even as a CDM. Uh, and I just don't think he's worth your time. I think you're better off with Pep, to be honest. Uh, but that being said, anything I'd change with this squad, I would just say maybe, uh, it's going to obviously take you a bit of time. I would say maybe eventually just replacing Barella. Um, I'm, what do you play in game? Uh, swapping bet. Uh, you don't really say. If you play Barella, I can't see what, why you play him as a cam. So I'm guessing you play him as a CDM. I would say uh, saving up and get yourself a better version of Allen. Maybe one of the informs or the road to the final. Uh, could be a good shout if he gets upgraded with Napoli as well. Uh, Allen would be a good improvement as a CDM. He's really, really good this year. I do like him a lot. The rest of the team, though, is really solid. Uh, you know, Diego Collis is going to get an upgrade, so that's pretty cool. Um, and it's a very nice squad. I like it a lot. Anyway, the next one is coming from Dylan, who says, uh, Hi, Haber. My intradables are Rykard, Nesta, and De Gea, and I got 200,000 coins for upgrades, leather bids. Thank you very much, bro. So, you got 200k. Hmm. I'd, I'd get to Stegen over De Gea. Personally, I think that goalkeeper's off chem just doesn't work. Uh, what else would I do here? I would then just start saving to replace Rykard, to be honest. Um, the rest of the squad is is strong enough in the ret retrospective positions. Maybe get yourself winter refresh burnout whilst you've got coins and then start saving for a better version of, of a, a can that you can play CDM. Uh, I just don't think Rykard right now, the baby version, is... Uh, good enough anymore um, and I see obviously you've got maybe subs on the bench you bring on for him but yeah I'd say just uh, maybe start saving now or wait for icon swaps for the next batch uh, the next one coming from Tylo says got 100,000 coins I'm looking to get a kanji okay let's check it out 
Um, okay, I'm guessing... Wait, would you play a Kanji as your central centre-back, maybe? I don't know, actually. Um, I would say get a Kanji and then send me a picture of what you're planning to do with this squad because I actually don't understand what you'd be doing with the squad here. Uh, you'd be changing a lot of stuff if you did get a Kanji. Uh, I'd imagine... You're probably going to change maybe your midfield or your goalkeeper. I don't know how you'd run your defence. Um, so I'd say send me a picture of the squad when you do get a kanji. Um, and I'll check it out then and help you out with it. Uh, the next one coming from Josh says, Hey man, this is my road of glory. Second so pick is what I play in game. Everyone's untradeable apart from the front three and Varane. I've got around 300,000 coins, but I'm willing to save. Don't do foot champs. Any any improvements? Check it out. Okay. Oh, I like I like the Acuna. He's good. Um... I like this. I, I also play the 4 and 2 on 2 narrow, and it's it's very OP. Messi's better as a cam. Neymar's better as a striker. Just going to throw that out there straight away. That will help you out a lot, in my opinion. Um, what else would I say about this? I'd say the same as what I said earlier. Maybe start working on getting that Ramos. You know, we finally have a really good right back in the uh, La Liga that isn't a base card. Um, so I would say start saving towards it. I mean, I guess I guess Emerson's actually not bad as well. Maybe you get Emerson at right back instead of uh, Malqui, or maybe you just start saving and, and start, you know, slowly doing that Ramos. Um, that could be a decent shout. But uh, the rest of the team is, is fantastic in the positions. And I think you just wait until you see a card that's a special card that either is very close to your heart or you just enjoy the look of it or you just enjoy playing him in game and give him a go in my opinion uh because the rest of the squad is is great in the retrospective positions uh the next one is coming from aaron uh, i missed the last couple of vids on this uh what should i build to got like 10k only in tradables are the bench icons under hair okay um hmm are you asking me which one you think you should go for here that's a strong squad, but Dembele at centre mid makes no sense at all. Um, yeah. Ikone uh, makes more sense. I would go with this, to be honest. Ikone uh, at centre mid makes way more sense than Dembele. Um, yeah, I, I'd say I'd go for this. And for the time being, you can play Alwar instead of Cyprian uh, until you finish off the Cyprian SBC. Uh, you can play Alwar over there at left centre mid uh, and then Akone over here. At, uh, uh, sorry, Alwar right centre mid, Akone here at left centre mid, Kante CDM. But the rest of the squad's strong though. I just wouldn't, uh, this doesn't doesn't make a lot of sense to me. I don't think Dembele would be a very good uh, centre mid. But yeah, it's a, it's a strong squad. I'm going to end it off with Matthews if it's not really small. <laughs> it's really small. I hate when it's like that because I literally cannot see it. Um, I'm going to finish off with Gilads who says, uh, Hi Sabre, the second photo is how I play in game. Got about 800,000 coins. The only untradeable are Neymar, Blanc, Delbert, Rio, Lala. I'm about to get Van der Sar from the icon swap. Can you let me know uh, what I can do to improve my team? Keep with the good work. For sure, bro. Let's check it out. So you got 800k for improvements. I like that you've done Neymar, although it's a bit overpriced, you know. I still like it. <laughs> um, what would I say with this? I actually really like this setup over here as well. The two, the you know, the uh, Kamara with the link to Lala. Um, can you afford to get Team of the Year Dion? You got 800k. No, you cannot. Um, what else could you do here, maybe? Hmm. I would save and get yourself Team of the Year De Jong. I think it'll make a massive improvement to your squad. Because realistically, the way I see it, you know, Ferdinand and Kamara both could be very, very good uh, centre-backs. Uh, Lloris good in goal. Dalbert's a great left back. Neymar, Mbappe, still two of the best in the game. Zola's very, very good. Blanc's still fantastic in this game. Messi, obviously, is Messi. Uh, and De Jong is the only place I can see where you can actually make a viable improvement. So I think that saving up to get yourself team of the year De Jong might not be a bad shout. Alternatively, you could replace uh, Kamara with baby Desai. That could also be a good shout if you're looking to replace uh, Kamara, but I don't think you would be. Um, so yeah, this is a very nice squad to end off the episode. And thank you all for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. Uh, uh, check out my Twitch channel where I'm going to be giving away a brand new Trust Gaming microphone. Uh, so make sure you uh, get heading over to that. I'll be live tomorrow night where I'll be giving that away. Thank you all for watching this episode. Hope you guys did enjoy it and I'll see you later.